Welcome back to Station Ears, and it's time to take our basic gas room and turn it into a much, much better room. Instead of just processing just, you know, gas straight out of an arc furnace into the atmosphere and back into a vent, let's do some better separation than that. So what we're going to do is, first of all, down there, we're going to create a kit for this. So if we grab it, it's an atmospheric kit. If we right click and then scroll wheel once, we'll get a filtration unit. We're going to rotate that, uh, and then we're going to want the input on the right hand side. So if you look at this where I'm stood, these six blocks, i.e. this one to here, is the actual interior. So I'm going to want to probably put it around about, I don't know, maybe here. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put another one in place. Uh, make sure it's filtration again. Uh, don't put it there. Obviously, that's where the other one is. Can't put it ne right next to it. Nor the one after, you're going to want to put it there. Okay, so leave two spaces in between each one. Because we're going to need... Uh, well, I'll show you in a second. <laughs> Let me just uh, finish building this first. So, uh, yeah, we're going to want another one. So, uh, not an air conditioner, filtration. One, two, and on the third one. And then the last one. We may want more than these, but, you know, I can just extend this room if I want to build more than this. So, one, two, three... So we have a stack of these. And what we're probably going to need to do is set up kind of a remote power switch rather than me jetpacking up here every time. But for the meantime, let's just have a look at what we do with these filtration units. They have two slots. For me, don't be I would suggest not be tempted to fill both slots. What's going to happen is they'll take an input, and the input is right here, and they will output on the other side, here. They'll output whatever's in the filter. So if I put nitrogen filter in here, nitrogen only should come out of this one. The rest, whatever's left, should go through this. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect one into the next. Going this way. Turning this way and then turning back again. And then just briefly we can just go... Back this way, I think I've got more pipes on me. I do because I'm not, I don't, got, don't have very much fuel in my jetpack, so you know, I've got to make the best of it. And again, when, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do the same thing, and we may as well do all the same pieces at the same time. That last one, um, well, you know, yeah, I am actually going to output from it. I'll just have a waste tank for the last one, so again, we'll just go back this way. And then uh, a junction. There, ah, wrong way. Go. We want to go the other way. There we go. Let's just put all those in. This one we don't really care about that much, um, but I guess we'll do go that way just in case I build any more of these filtration units. We'll have that sorted, and then we can just connect the last couple up, just with straight. There we go. Now the reason why we've left two in between is the power and the data are connected right there. So if I just uh, just switch this out, actually, can I switch you out? No, I can't. Let's just put you in the uh, pockets of my uniform. Grab this. And let me turn on the light so you can see what I mean. There's the power and the data. If you put this too close, it interferes with the pipe and it won't let you build there. So do bear that in mind when you actually do this. Uh, I'm probably going to want to build them because we're going to go down into these blocks. I'm going to have to remove <laughs> the uh, constructed state of these blocks. So I'm going to have to connect everything together. Um, the output's going to come here and it's going to be going down. So I'm also going to want to go down with these. So maybe a junction that goes down, a three-way junction, or corner. Uh, is it going to have to be six-way to go left, right, and down? Is there a, there's a three-way corner, and that works for that block. That's for the data. But for this one, um, yeah, we could just connect, connect them underneath. If I just go that this way and do that for all of them then flip it around and that should send the the sort of 
power bus, if you like, underneath, where we connect them all underneath these filtration units where the pipes aren't running. Okay, so then the output for these uh, was the pipes gone, the outputs are going to go down. Corner, corner. There we go. So for each one of these, whichever filters I put in them, the pure gas should be sent out of them and down. And in our case, we're probably going to want to route those to, um, you know, gas storage uh, blocks. So I'm about to run out of, uh, about to run out of jetpack propellant. So I need to do some more of that. But for the meantime, that's not going to go anywhere because um, we don't have a waste tank on it yet. But for each one of these, we need to get them up for power. And um, let me just drop down to this locker, maybe. Hopefully there's no fall damage. Well, at least there is, but not enough yet. So if I grab you, just so that we can see through this. Yeah, here's where I'm going to need more jetpack fuel. Because, uh, what's, why are you there? Um, I'm going to need to connect all of those up. I guess I can probably get to them. Let's just see if I can get range on this. Is it with you, the angle grinder? The... No. Ah, okay, I can just do it with the wrench twice. Okay, so we've got a wall like that's floating, but that's okay. And will you let me... Have I got range to this? Uh... No, I really don't. So I'm probably going to have to get up there somehow, maybe stand on top of this pipe or something along those lines. Uh, again, uh, to get some jetpack propellant, you can use pretty much any gas as propellant. I'd like to keep... We start off with this canister, and I'd like to keep it to nitrogen, but nitrogen is a bit of a... Um, well, it's a bit of a hard gas to get. You can get it out of ice, just a bare ice, that is, not, not uh, volatiles or oxides. Uh, let me just turn that light off now that we've got daytime. So yeah, you can get it out of ice. It's okay, and this is something I should just explain. I did this between the episodes. Uh, we had an arc furnace last episode which evacuated into this atmosphere, which then we pumped back in this way. With the furnace, however, it has a pipe connector on the back. So if I put something in here, it will go out of the pipe and it goes to that valve. So if I open the valve, keep this one closed, open this one, for example, Put a canister in here. Anything that's in here will sort of balance out into this. The problem that I still have is that it balances. It won't all... Even if I put a pressure regulator where that is, and then move the valve up one, there will still be gas in this pipe. I can't get rid of it entirely. So what I may have to do is yet more dump valves um, for that kind of thing. For propellant, doesn't matter so much. I'm just going to get something that I can put into a canister and put in my backpack. So um, let me just grab, um, not that canister, let's just grab a new canister, shall we? Yep, grab one of you. Uh, pop you in here, and then if we go into our tablet, new with this update that came out today, I can then just hover over these to see what's in them. So in this case, mostly water, but also some nitrogen. In that case, uh, there's nothing in this pipe system whatsoever at the moment, so that's good. We can just go and grab our um, mining backpack. And it's still daytime, so this might have to be a little bit fiddly. <laughs> uh, I've got some oxides, uh, oxides, I've got some ice, and I've got some volatiles. So if I just put some volatiles in there quickly, you'll see the pressure's building up. There it goes. And if I open this valve, keep that one shut and open this valve, we should get, if I go back to my tablet, turn it on. So we're getting N2, H2, 95% H2 from the volatiles. So volatiles is basically hydrogen. I'd rather prefer coal gas thrusters made of nitrogen than I would hydrogen coming out of the back of my backpack. I don't know about you, but me. <laughs> Yes, maybe. So let's just shut the valve off for a second. We can, oops, let me just turn that off so it doesn't waste the battery. And then uh, what are you? You're still fairly high 
in terms of that we've got enough there let's just see if we can swap that over it's not terribly high yet we need to need to pump to actually get more we need, i need another pressure regulator maybe to push it all in as much as it can do into this and that's something that i can do um yeah i can move stuff around i guess yeah let's actually do that just so that i've got some way of pressurizing this canister pretty well um this is the mining backpack i <laughs> don't need that let's just pop you back in there and i'm going to need power for it aren't i but i've got power right there so it's going the other way that should be fine no what does ah there we go valve uh so if we move the valve but one rotated around um Okay, that will do. And then have I got a pressure regulator? I do. I have a few. Oh, it won't build right next to a valve. That's actually really annoying. <laughs> I wish this wasn't the case. It's incredibly annoying that you keep on having to put one pipe between each of these. All right, we need to figure out some other way of doing that then. Let me just put the pipe back in. Uh, yeah, maybe move those at some point. Okay, I'm going to go and... Uh, did I put that in my backpack? Have I got 400 now? Yeah, I do. Okay. We need a lot more than that in our um, propellant. But for the time being, what I may do actually is... Yeah, I'm going to have to get up there. Let me go and finish the construction up there and we'll see you shortly. So, we've got all of these installed now. They do all have power, so if we can click on the filtration button... They will have an on-off cycle, but they don't have any filters in there right now, so we've got to decide what order we're going to put that in. Uh, nitrogen is the green one, I think. This is going to be first. Yep, nitrogen. So then we can probably go... Uh, this is CO2. I'm going to put that in the last one. And then I guess oxygen is going to be next, at least for me. You choose whatever you want. And then volatiles. So nitrogen, oxygen, volatile, CO2. There is a couple of other things. There is uh, water and there is, uh, what's the last thing? Um, pollutants. So uh, I think pollutants can just be whatever's left. So I may well put another one of these in here for um, water. But for now, this the send pipe should end up with water and pollutants in it. So we can process that later, I guess. Uh, there's no need for water just yet, but once hunger and thirst is in, I'm sure we're going to need that. However, it's a system we can start. Um, I would have to go up here and keep clicking on the filtration on buttons. I'm not going to turn them on just yet because we're going to need to put the pipes in. So what I'm going to do is then route these, uh, these pipes down there. And I probably want to replace this system, or at least, you know, an addendum to this system, if you like, to have each of these just going into their own uh, gas storage. And maybe we put it on the ceiling, maybe we put it on a wall somewhere. I haven't quite figured out yet. But we don't want any junctions between this one, this one, this one, and this one. We're going to keep them all pure. So, route that how you will. I'm just going to go and finish that off on my world. Alright, so here's the system piped up. So, you've got the furnace. It comes in here. we got a control valve. We can also have an input from our atmosphere. Again, a control valve. And then, we can choose what happens to it. We can either block it from getting to this otherwise we can fill a canister for things like jetpack which uh is okay at least it's enough to get me to the roof a couple more times and then we have a valve to send in into our filtration system if i open that and open this whatever i put into this furnace will go up into the first and the second and the third and the fourth and each of them will fill will filter down separate gases into these four pipes labeled them with our labeler nitrogen oxygen, hydrogen, carbon dioxide. And this is where things go wrong, but we'll see. Uh, ideally, I don't want any pollution in any of these pipes, so I temporarily hook them back up to this uh, dump valve. I'm going to have to reconfigure how I do the dump valves, of course. But uh, for the moment, we should get four of these. I don't have anything plugged into the waste pipe just yet. I just wanted to give this a go. So uh, is there anything in you? There is. I don't want any anything in any of the tanks while I actually try this. So I'm just going to grab a canister for you. And yeah, there's nothing in. Good. 
kind of stuff for oops, kind of stuff for you. Nitrogen and oxygen probably the most important because we're going to get the, then get a mixer, and that is hydrogen. Okay, so if I then how much batteries have we got? Yeah, this is the other thing. I'm going to have to computer control those to turn on and off, etc. So if I just pop upstairs and grab... Oops. <laughs> I'm just another jetpacks. Pop upstairs. And turn these on for a minute. One. Two. Three. And I guess we'll turn on four, but we're not really using it. Let's pop down. And nothing's coming through just yet. See, they're all empty. I guess now is the test. We need to turn on the valve and on the valve. Is anything coming through them yet? I'm not sure if I drained the system entirely. It looks like I did. <clears throat> so if I just pop out my tool melt, replace it for my mining belt, you see I have some ores in here. I have some ice, that's mainly water of course, but also some nitrogen. We have some volatiles, which is mainly hydrogen, and we have some oxides, hopefully mainly oxygen. Okay, has the, has the sun gone down? And let me turn them back on the <laughs> light again. Yeah, the sun has gone down, so let's just see. Does you... No, you're not going to... You're not going to sublimate. Okay, so let's just split off half of you and pop you back in. I'm going to pop you into the furnace. We're also going to get maybe uh, some of you and pop half of you out. Again, put that back in. And then the same thing with the ice. And pop you back in the backpack. Okay, let's just pop you into the top of the furnace. And you to the top of the furnace and hopefully everything works. Uh, there you go. So the pressure is going up. And it is being pulled into the system because you see the pressure going back down again. And hopefully, let's just go and take a look at our oxygen, uh, sorry, our atmosphere analyzer. Uh, that's not looking good. In fact, that is just... Oh, sorry, that's the, that's the wrong thing. Yeah, it needs to be this one, this one, and this one. Okay, so nothing in them at the moment. Are you actually filtering? Hmm. Let's just take a canister out. There's nothing in them yet. Have I opened the valve? Valve open, closed, closed, open. That should be going into the first... And then... Out, down, and here. Does it need a pressure regulator, maybe, to pump the stuff? But even so, if we did this... Oh, hang on, there we go. N2. Ah, I'm being stupid. <laughs> open the valves. Open the valves, Gray, <laughs> otherwise you don't get anything. <laughs> yes. Okay, so... <laughs> there we go. We've got nitrogen, oxygen, and hydrogen. And... You are on, but I don't have any canister in there. Do I have any spare canisters? You're empty. I could do with a sort of... Um, do I have any? Yeah, let's actually just grab... You. And can I put you, say... I need to make one space, but if I rotate it around and flip it over... And then if I just hook you up to you, one, two, should that be good enough for a void? Um, where's the canister? Yeah, let's just put you in here. That should dump everything. Well, if you give it a minute, yep, yeah, dump. So you can go in here. And then finally, we can look with this valve what we get. Uh, there wasn't any carbon dioxide, it looks like, in the stuff that we put in there, so that makes sense. Uh, our waste tank is, of course, the carbon dioxide, and that's coming out of our suit. So that is filling up. Our air tank is down to 1817, so we need to do something about that, at least briefly. Um, so let's just pop you back in here and uh, head to the next bit, I think. Uh, yeah. And just one nice little na last thing for this episode, I think which is to say this mixer. So if we create a gas mixer, we've got two inputs, gas mixer one and gas mixer two. So we control with this, input one is 70%, input two is 30%. So this 
let's say we want nitrogen and oxygen. So let's just grab some nitrogen. Hopefully that is nitrogen now. We'll see our oxygen and put you in there and turn you on. We may well want some kind of pressurization system there, but we'll see in a second. Uh, let's see, what's that down to? That's 321, that's all used. So that makes sense in that a lot more nitrogen is being used than oxygen. And this is maintaining the mix on this side, which is 50 kPa. How much is in my suit? 1697. <laughs> Hmm, okay, so I may well need some way of getting a lot more oxygen and nitrogen, but at least we've got a mixing system that will produce, if I just take this out for a second, and let's grab my atmospheric analyzer, turn it on. We've got 70% nitrogen, 30% oxygen. Pretty good? Yeah, I think so. Except that that says it's actually going down. Mm, it shouldn't be. Maybe that's... Oh, the temperature's decreasing. Okay, so, yeah. Of course, it's going to take less volume. Fine, no problem. And we have a full mixing system. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've got pretty much the entire room sorted now. What we can do, of course, is... Um, these nitrogen and oxygen, we can just output from a mixing uh, system like this uh, by some kind of T-junction and then a valve and pressurization system down and into our underground base to pressurize it from you know a fairly pure source so that's one thing we could do or you know just have junctions there for the nitrogen and oxygen but i'll leave that up to you for your imagination for your base hope you enjoyed this episode feel free to give it a thumbs up share or subscribe if you uh, want to of course and we'll see you next episode for more station ears